Hey class, so today we're going to practice loading in a new data set into QGIS. So let me start by sharing my screen. And let's review the data first. So you'll notice it is in a CSV format. And our first column is the ID number of the individual animal. So in this case, these are uh, latitude longitude coordinates for turtles that we've been tracking. Following that, the column is date, and then there's a timestamp, X, the X field, our Y field, and our UTM zone. So these animals have been triangulated to determine their location at a specific date, at a specific time, and the coordinates have been projected into UTMs in the 18th zone. And let's see how many locations we have here. So we have approximately 171 locations and we have five different turtles. So let's open up our QGIS. Let's start a new project. So the first thing we're gonna do is create a base map. And from our previous lesson, we already installed that plugin. So now we just double click underneath XYZ files, tiles, which is in our browser panel, we're going to double click on OpenStreetMap. Great. Now we're going to add in our CSV file as a layer. So from our top menu, we'll go to layer, add layer. And this is a CSV, so a comma separated value. So this is a delimited text layer. So add delimited text layer. We're going to navigate to where our CSV file is located. So we'll hit these three dots right here called browse, and we will find our way to where we're storing that CSV file and hit open. The next thing we need to do is tell it the projection system or coordinate system. So in this case, I happen to mention it's already been projected into UTMs. So we need to tell it that. So if you haven't used QGIS before, we're gonna to have to tell it which geometry. So we're gonna to go to this world icon looking thing right here next to the geometry CRS. We're gonna to go to this world and we're gonna to start to type in UTM. All right. Now I happen to tell you it was the 18th zone, right? So I'm going to do UTM space zone space 18. And there's going to be a few different options. This is where the datum comes in. So the things you need to know when you are first putting locations into any kind of GIS are uh, what was the datum based on and has this been projected or not. So yes, this has been projected in UTMs and the datum was based on WGS 84. So out of all these UTM zone 18s, we want to pick north, where we are north of the equator, and we want WGS 84 as the datum. Then we'll hit OK, and then we'll hit Add. So this is going to add in our coordinates into our GIS. And it's pretty far away, so let's zoom in closer. Under layers, this panel over here on the left, let's right click on turtle locations and zoom to layer, single click on that. And you'll see we have all these locations of our turtles. And we can play around with the colors. So we can go to the symbology by going, we right click on turtle locations, we go to properties and we can start to play around with different symbols and colors, things like that. We can also look at the attribute table. If we right click and then go to open attribute table, this will show us the data that we've loaded in. So it'll show us the ID number of that turtle, the date, the timestamp, the X field, the Y field, and the zone. So basically everything we loaded in. And later, I'll show you some features you can do with the open attribute table. So that is how you load in your data into QGIS.
So another thing we may want to do is export this as its own layer. So we may want to go to right click on the turtle location, go to export, and then save features as. And we will change the format to, let's make it a shape file, an Esri shape file, and let's call it turtles loc shp for shape file. And it already has that um, coordinate reference system embedded in the data. So that'll make it a little bit faster in the future. And we can hit OK. So that's going to save it as its own shape file. So that'll make it even faster the next time we want to load it in. We don't have to tell it which is the X field, which is the Y field, what the coordinate reference system is. This is going to save us some time in the future when we want to work with this layer in the future. So I hope you found that helpful.